maybe there is a little bit of an element of truth in it somewhere. If an alien comes, it's such a fantastic thing. Something absolutely new entered our life. Human beings have always been doing incredible things, but they never got the media. Because uh, normally when you say God, people will look up, so they must be aliens <laughs> Obviously not residing on this planet, so they must be aliens. I know theories and theories are going around. Anything that you cannot explain that's happened on this planet, you want to invent a fantastic story that somebody else must have come and done this, I'm not saying that is not at all possible either, but I think ninety-five percent of it is just loose imagination. There is a five percent element of truth to it. I cannot deny it after be having been to Manasarovar and Kailash, it's a, it's a living confrontation. <laughs> uh, It's a living encounter, so I cannot deny it, but everything that you cannot explain thinking that somebody else from somewhere came and did this, this is an ancient problem continuing till today. If you don't know how something happened in your life, it must be him who did it. You know, somebody else is always responsible for all the things that we don't know how. I think it's ninety-five percent conjecture. Maybe there is a little bit of an element of truth in it somewhere, maybe. But instead of going off into these fanciful thoughts and philosophies and belief systems that you start seeing aliens floating around in your cities, uh, when they come and introduce themselves, okay, till they come, and introduce themselves, that they come, stand here and say, Sadhguru, this is me, I've come from Mars. Till then, we can ignore them, really. Till then, you can ignore them. Because I know you've been watching Hollywood movies and they're going to come and attack you and you have to prepare right now. You have to build an army to fight the aliens. Somebody is making money on build building this fanciful thought in your head. Even you have to fight wars with stars. I thought you could do something better <laughs> I thought you could do at least something better outside this planet. You are not able to settle your prejudices and, you know, anger and hatred we have generated against people. If you are not able to drop it, I thought at least with aliens we would, could welcome them and have a party with them. <laughs> but no, with stars also wars. I don't think so. If an alien comes, it's such a fantastic thing. Something absolutely new entered our life, there may be so much gossip, <laughs> huh? And you could share so many things, your insights into the local <coughs> juice, and they may have their juice. It could be a fantastic interaction. Anyway, you're talking about they came and built this, they came and built the pyramids, they came and built the Mayan temples, they came and built the Indian Kailash temple, you know, it's going on. In India, there's a temple called the Kailash temple, where this was not built, it was cut into a mountain from the top, okay? They… 
they took out some four million tons of rock. I, I want you to understand what I'm saying. It's like, let's say this entire thing was a rock and we carved this hall out of that rock, okay? Like this, they carved out a temple which is three floors with elaborate carvings and from the top. It's very difficult for any sculptor to work from the top down, okay? But they worked sculptures like this, hundreds of stone images and three floors of temple. It is one of the most incredible things that human beings have done on this planet. I don't want to give away the credit to the aliens <laughs> When I… <laughs> when I first visited this Kailash temple, I felt proud of being a human being. Because four generations of people, hundred and thirty-five years, maybe five generations or six generations of people, one hundred and thirty-five years, they work to the same plan, okay? Just with hammer and chisel, four million tons of rock was removed and they built a temple. Nothing was built, everything was carved out of the mountain, not this way, from the top down. It is the most incredible piece of engineering and craftsmanship that human beings have displayed on the planet. When I went there, my chest swelled. There's so many things that human beings are doing that we should feel ashamed of. But there are many things they have done that we can be really proud of. I don't want to give away credit to the aliens. No human beings did it. Human beings have always been doing incredible things, but they never got the media. Only those who did horrible things got the media, even today, isn't it? So, it doesn't matter who did it, aliens did it, human beings did it. What the hell are we doing as a generation of people is very important. Are we going to create something in this world where future generations will look back and say, wow, these twenty-fifth… twenty-first generation people did such fantastic things, something that that will make them proud of being human, not ashamed of being human. Let's do something like that.